Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through the Aldi Adventurage one man tent. What we're going to be going through is the pros and cons of a one man tent, how it can benefit you and how it can be a nuisance. Let's have a look at my bag and I'll show you what I've got, what you would need for a lightweight camp out. Let's go. So here is some basic things that you're going to need. Look in the bag. We have got our Adventurage one man tent which retails at $19.99 it's 2000 mm it says 5 minute pitch it's probably about right 1.5 kilograms oh there we go the average tent is going to be around about 3 that's 1.5 I'll be honest with this I went to the car boot sale and I paid 5 quid for it brand new so £5 tent We've got our summer sleeping bag. This is a pack light 65 made by Lux, I think it is. L U X E. Possibly an American brand, but I don't know. If you know about that, then comment. We've got our camping cooking equipment, pots and pans. Pillow, essential. We've got other cooking equipment. And in the base of the bag, we have got our sleeping mat. Right, let's get the tent up and we'll work around it. And I'll show you the crack. So I reckon it was five minutes set up. Let's have a look. Up side, two side, few pegs. It's just one pole this. One pole goes on the rim. Get a shot of that. It's the inner inner pitch first. I'm not a big fan of inner pitch first because if it is raining then possibly the inside of your tent could get wet. Goes in the top bit, there's just a little slit where it goes in. Make sure the bendy bit, the arch middle is central. One side in. That's that. So the pegs secure it out at the beginning That. Out of there, out of sheet, fly sheet, whatever you want to call it. 
goes over the top. Just make sure that you get the, the right side and now this. Right, so with most in a pitch first tents, what you'll find is if you go to the centre where the pole is, you'll find straps. Strap them on. And that's going to be the beginning of putting the fly sheet on. Once this is on, you'll be able to peg it out properly and you'll be able to figure out the resistance, how much resistance you're going to be uh, putting on it. So now I've done that, as you can see, that'll be staying there, now I can peg everything out. Right, let's get everything out. It looks quite nice already. We'll start with the middle. Start in the centre and we'll work our way out. So just pull it in halfway so you don't want it too tight. Then we'll go to the other side. and peg this central one out then we know that it is directly in the middle right now we can start doing the other sides now want some more pegs on there another one here There's one on the side. Yep. And the last one on the other side. And there we go. I think it looks quite smart, personally. It's all up now, it's all taught how I would like it. This is what it looks like. The side drawer open. Oh, I'll just put that in there. So you have got a little bit of storage for your kit on the side of the tent. Inside, this is what it looks like. It's just enough room. I'm five foot eleven and I fit in there perfectly. Um, really fast to put up. Obviously, you can tell that it's cheaper than the other brands. How you can tell is just by the connection points. You know, they just don't feel as sturdy. The zips don't seem as sturdy and they kind of feel like they could break at any point but if you're careful with it treat it right it will last you quite a long time with the OEX Traverse seat and that. Pull that in. We have the OEX Traverse pillow. Two little blows, puffs, this will get up. What I found is with the OEX Traverse pillow, 
just brought up about three quarters of the way and it makes it a bit more soft and you do get a better night's sleep. Put that in. We've got the summer pack light 65 and then we've got our cooking equipment here and I'm just going to show you what you would be doing in a one man tent when you need to cook now I thought I'd make sure I've got no snots because in the past few videos I've had get big snots in my nose right I've got no snots we all right okay we've got a storage pouch there plenty of headroom at the back you know my feet are at the bottom obviously I wouldn't normally have my boots on plenty of room my gear is at the side of the tent here in the pouch and if you look there's plenty of room at the back of the tent as well so you could put your stuff all the way around the tent and that would give you more room in your main quarters here now I've always had two man tents my last video that I did was uh, the Euro hike backpacker DLX that was my first ever tent really and it was two man because I always go off the dog as well so if Ruby came and ate me dog it would be a tight squeeze I would have to be right over I think it would work it definitely would work but it would be a really tight squeeze but for the price that you're gonna pay if you're just getting into tenting camping I know some people that's going out and they're spending four or five a thousand pound on all the equipment and then they could be going out and they might not even like it. Get yourself a cheap little tent at the beginning, have a few attempts at it, and if you like it, then fair enough, get out, spend money, but on what you want, what suits you. Don't just be looking at YouTube videos. Oh, I'm gonna buy that Rab jacket because it's Rab and it's expensive and it's gonna be class. It doesn't matter. There's different brands out there at different prices and it's just what suits you it depends what price range you've got if you have got the money to get out and buy a load of stuff then fair enough do it but if you are on a budget do a bit research and think about what you're going to need and are you going to use it i've bought stuff in the past where i haven't used it hardly as yet i might use it once or twice but that's it so let's have another look at the kit that's inside. That's all my camping cooking -y stuff. I have me, me clothes in the bag there. I've got me cook stuff there. I've got me mat. If I wanted to sit outside or kneel, this is just really to get out so I don't get wet. So I, my feet don't get, my knees don't get damp. Let's undo this, my left hand. The worst hand to do anything with. I think it looks brilliant. The air vents. I mean, you can always get buy something like Fab Seal just to go over the seams if you do feel like it might leak. You still save money if you, even if you bought a litre of Fab Seal. There we go. Right, so just to go through the itinerary of the camp, tent was five pound. It would have been normally 19.99 from Aldi, but I got it from the car boot sale. It was still brand new, it's never been used. I've used it a few times now. Um, my sleeping bag, I got quite cheap. I think I got that for a fiver from this other place that was like a car boot sale. The OEX stuff, the pillow and the mat I got from Go Outdoors, they both came to, I think it was £23 for the both. Um, the bag also got from the car boot sale, I think I just paid a couple of pounds for that again. Clothes, obviously I get my clothes from Go Outdoors most of the time, but 
It doesn't cost much to get out and enjoy yourself. Have a go. Even if it's not really a good tent, use it a few times. Maybe it's key parts because you can always use different, like the poles, keep the poles, you can re repair other tents. They might be similar poles. But get yourself outside, enjoy yourself, and give it a go camping. There's nothing stopping you. Get yourself to a campsite. Right. I hope you've liked this video of the one man Adventurage Aldi tent. It's a good tent for the price. You can't go wrong. I haven't seen this for sale in Aldi for a long time. So, they might be bringing out a new model or they might just have stopped selling it. But if you do see it on eBay or anything, I think it is definitely worth a buy. The next video of it will be a wild camp in it. Um, and I'll show you what it's like properly up in the mountains. Right. Well, if you've liked this video, please like it and subscribe. And I just want to say one thing before I go 100 subscribers. Come on. Keep it going. See you later.